Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, hope you're having a great week. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've been on. A uh, lot, lot going on. But I wanted to get on today as we are making our way through the book of Acts. Uh, again, since the last time I've been uh, on, we uh, finished John, and now we're in Acts chapter 4 today. And I'm not going to focus in on uh, one specific verse, but I want to just talk about an overview of the chapter today because I think we see some great principles of sharing the good news of Jesus in this chapter. And I just want to briefly run through uh, five things I see in this chapter about sharing our faith. Number one is sharing the gospel message. Now, verse 10, I mean, Peter talks about Christ crucified and risen again. Verse 12, Peter talks about that there is salvation found only in Jesus Christ. And so uh, the first principle is we just need to share the message of the gospel, that there is only one way, and that is through Jesus Christ crucified, risen from the dead, faith in him. Number two, principle of just sharing our faith is being with Jesus, all right? And I love verse 13. Verse 13 is just an incredible verse. As the council looked at Peter and John, and they saw that they were uneducated uh, men, but that they were people who had been with Jesus. I mean, that's just an incredible line in that chapter. Their lives were changed. They had been with Jesus. And for our lives to continue to change, we continue to need to be people who are with Jesus, that we spend time in his word, that we just spend time in prayer, just growing in that relational aspect uh, with Jesus. So principle number two, be with Jesus continually. Number three, they are just compelled to share the message. Verse 20 in chapter four Peter and John say, we just can't help speaking about the things we have seen and heard. They couldn't hold it in. They were compelled to share the message of the gospel, the message of what Jesus had done. Is that true of us? Are we just bursting at the seams to share about the things Jesus has done, the truth of God's word, or are we holding it in ourselves? They couldn't help but speak. And it didn't matter the threats that the religious leaders threw Peter and John's way. They weren't going to stop talking about Jesus. So being compelled, just being ready to burst at the seams is, is number three. Number four, they prayed for boldness. And I think this is one that maybe we need to, to do a little bit more. You know, in verse 29, uh, Peter and John uh, go back to the believers, they're released, and they go back and they pray. And that's just an incredible thing, number one. I mean, they just go back and they start praying. But in verse 29, we see that they are praying for boldness. It's scary at times to share the good news of Jesus with a friend, with a family member, because we can have fears or worries. Hey, I'm, they're not going to want to be around us any longer. They're just going to reject us. But we can learn from verse 29 to pray for boldness. And then you look at verse 31, what happens? They're sharing the good news of the gospel with boldness, it says. So they prayed for it and God gave it to them. Maybe that is something we need to continue to incorporate into our prayer lives is a prayer for boldness to share the gospel. And just look and watch and see how God gives us that boldness, how the Holy Spirit works boldness in us to share the gospel. And then number five uh, in sharing the gospel is that we support the spreading of the gospel as well. Verses 34 to 37, we see that um, people were selling their possessions and goods, and we see that even Barnabas sold a field brought it to the disciples so that it could be distributed for uh, taking care of other people's needs. It is a reminder for us that we need to continue to support the spread in the gospel through our local church, uh, as God leads us to support missions worldwide, other missions in our country of getting the gospel to other people, that we need to be involved in this. We need to be uh, giving to support the work of spreading the gospel in our own local community and throughout our nation and world. 
And so I pray today that these five principles we may take take something away from. Number one, again, to share the gospel message. To number two, be with Jesus. Number three, just compelled that you can't hold in. You got to share the things that Jesus has done. Number four, praying for boldness. And then number five, supporting with our offerings, with our money, with our resources, the spreading of the gospel. Really encourage you today to reflect on these five and think about maybe one one of these five that you want to begin to integrate into your own life in spreading the good news of Jesus as well. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we pray today that you would work in each of our hearts and our lives boldness to share the good news of the gospel, that Jesus Christ came to this world, that he was crucified on a cross for our sins, but that he rose from the dead to forgive us all our sins and to give us the hope of eternal life. And there is only one way to be saved, and that is through the work of Jesus, through faith in him. And Lord, continue to give us that faith. Give us boldness and help us to be ready and willing to support the good news of Jesus with our time, with our talents, with our treasures, with our resources. And God, I pray that people would see in us that we have been with you. Strengthen each of our relationships with you, that we would just grow in our connection with you and that, again, people would see you in us. So, Lord, bless our day. Help us to be just intentional about living on mission uh, for you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on your day. I pray you have a wonderful weekend and that uh, you spend some time in worship this weekend, whether it's at St. Peter or Faith or another local congregation that you belong to, that you would take that time to gather with other believers and worship Jesus and hear his word and just encourage one another. God's blessings on your weekend.